Hello everyone, welcome to the Game Level channel. Today I want to teach you how you can convert audio tracks in CDA format that are inside an audio CD to your favorite format such as MP3 or WAV or any other format you want. First you need to insert the audio CD into your computer. Right click on Drive G and select Open. When we go to the properties section, we see that the audio file format is CDA. Well, we use Jet Audio software to change the format. There are other similar software, but I chose this software because it was easy to work with. Well, we open the Jet Audio. Click on the RIP option. As you can see, all the songs were imported automatically from the G drive. We can do two things here. First, select all the songs and check this option, in which case our output will be an audio file that plays the songs one after the other. The second task is to uncheck this option and select only one track. In which case only the selected track will change its format that I do. In this section we can specify the name of the output file. In this section, we select the place where we want the output file to be saved. I chose the desktop. In this section, we select the format we want. I chose MP3. Finally, click on the start option. You may see this error due to lack of MP3 codec. In this case, click on the yes option. The next message tells us that after downloading lame MP3 encoder, unzip it and copy the DLL file to the installation location of the Jet Audio software. After clicking on the OK option, the internet browser will open automatically and show you the freecodex.com. Click on the download option. Download 3.99.5 version for 32-bit. After downloading, open the zip file. Note that the WinRer software is already installed on the system. Click on Extract to. Select the desired location to save the file. Then click OK. Open the downloaded folder and find the DLL file and copy it. Now we need to copy this file to the installation location of the JIT Audio software. To find the software installation location, right click on it and select the Open File Location option, and then click the Paste option. This solved the error problem. Click on the start option again. The operation was completed successfully. Here, if you want, you can create a new album or add a new file to your album, which I call No. You can see that the audio file format has changed to MP3. I hope you found this video useful. If you want, you can subscribe to this channel. If you click the bell, a notification will be sent to you as soon as a new video of me is released. Thanks for watching this video.